Welcome back to the Sound for More Channel 8, Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to do a tutorial and demonstration on Elliot Garage Wave Shaper. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So, Elliot Garage Wave Shaper, well, it has been around for a while and um, it's. Um, I never really had the opportunity so far to actually do a review, so I thought that, that would be a good idea. And um, it's really a nice synth as a menu of apps from Elliot Garage. So it's a hybrid uh, wave shaping uh, synth because it has the ability to uh, use different uh, sound synthesis. So as you can see, you have three oscillators up here, you have uh, wave shaping here, uh, main traditional anal virtual analog, oscillator here and then you have a sub oscillator but you have also the ability to create your own uh, waveforms as well here which is really nice and you can also morph between them and you have controls here to morph and you can also do fm as well which uh, which is really nice so let's uh, listen to some of the preset first and then we'll go through a short introduction of um of uh, of the different controls Okay, so up here, as you can see, you have different categories here, all pad, lead, space, effect. And um, and then here you also have uh, some banks as well, factory, favorites, DJ, puzzle, etc., etc. So it's quite, um, it's quite interesting in terms of what it can produce. <laughs> Let's go to uh, the factory uh, preset. Let's focus perhaps on some of the pads. Okay, let's uh, uh, go back to the init preset and uh, let's have a look at the different controls of the synth. So, starting on the top left hand side here, you have the selection of uh, a wave shaping, a synthesis, of course. So, yeah, let's turn off the volume here of the main uh, of the virtual analog uh, oscillator. So, you can hear uh, the wave shaping synthesis here. And the waveform which is selected, you find it here in the middle. At the moment, you have a bank called A, okay, or state A of the waveform, which you can change here. For example, you can go to this one. 
Okay, you control the main volume here, so if it's too high, just act on here and the pan here as well. And then here on the output, you have also your ADSR, so if you want to have more attack, just act on that. Some release, act on that. And of course, the gain sustain. But you can also act on a second uh, waveform here, so for example, we could select this one, which you can hear, of course. <laughs> And then you can morph between the two from A to B and you can decide the attack for morphing here and also the like so. And then you can add also some release between the two. Of course you need to ensure you have some release here on the main ADSR on the output. Uh, but the other thing as well is you find this uh, control here with these uh, arrows, so you click on it and then you can go inside and you can define your own waveform, which is fantastic. <laughs> And that is very handy as well because you can apply uh, drawing waveforms here on the LFO as well and also on the envelope. You have two LFOs and you have two envelopes as well which you can use against the parameters of the synth. So bo for uh, both the uh, the first two oscillators so you can adjust the volumes here, the pitch, the octave, tuning of course and of course if you choose similar waveforms like so for both and then you detune you can have that nice uh, type of unison detuning effect so here you can choose between uh, standard really um, waveforms for the second oscillator so let's do something like that ensure that we have sign and in there's uh, the volume here And again, you can adjust the octave, the tuning, and the pitch here. But then you can also add a sub oscillator. And you can decide to have that post effect, also pre effect. Now let's remove these, and uh, we do like that. And now you can hear uh, the sub oscillator a little bit better because the octave a moment ago was too low, but of course you can go pre-effect and also post-effect for the sub oscillator and you can change the waveform here as well okay so we have already seen the this section here for the output the morphing between the different waveforms for wave shaping and then you can also do fm for which you can adjust the volume and the ratio as well so <laughs> And you can introduce noise and adjust the cue as well. Here you have LFOs and envelopes. So if you select an LFO, then you can assign it to, for example, um, I don't know, um, detuning to. And you can see it's our light in here as well. Then you can choose the waveform here. And again, you can define your own uh, going inside here and you can draw it as well. You can adjust the depth and the speed. And of course, you can do the same on envelope. So you can click on envelope. It says envelope one here. You can do an assignment and then the waveform, the depth and the speed as well. And you can change that as well. Of course, when you finish, you can remove the assignment and then in this way you remove the association or in this case of the LFO to the detuning. Down here you have filter section, so main BCF with Q, resonance uh, for both the high pass and low pass and of course the um, cutoff frequency for both high pass and low pass down here. <laughs> Of 
course, depending on the type of waveform that you have selected. You can add some reverb, some delay, and uh, you can adjust uh, the mix here, but also the timing. You can act on crash, overall pitch, and of course the VCF um, and I forgot to mention overall uh, VCF and Q as well, cut off and Q. And here you have a this section which allows you to configure settings for the keyboard. If you want to use the internal keyboard, you can decide the route and the scale here. You can go to further settings here, which uh, will run, uh, will be available, of course, if you're running as a standalone. At the moment, I'm running it as uh, an UV3. You can access the help. You can see the signal comes in here. You have channel pressure. You can configure what uh, th that will drive. You have glide here. You scroll and hold and of course mono and then here you have um, um, you can assign here the pitch band and uh, like so to one of the parameters so it's quite nice and uh, to be able to do it straight away And that, in a nutshell, is Elliot Garage Wayshaper. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and showed the demonstration, and as always, see you next time.